under make noise. She conceded that Damon could have survived as much as eight to nine minutes. Now, now let's take a look at what she just read. All right. Okay, from the time that he received all these injuries, he could have lasted as little as two or three minutes or as much as maybe five or six minutes or something like that. Yes, maybe it could be two minutes, three minutes, maybe five minutes. Okay, even conceivably a little bit longer. Maybe as much as eight or nine minutes. You can't tell. That's what she says. You can't tell. Now, let me show you a, a, how she is differently. And this is what she says on Rich's panel. Dolly was on the telephone to 911. Time line starts because the medical examiner, examiner said. Said. The medical examiner said. That Damon could not have lasted um, for any longer than a now she says one thing on her panel and a different thing on his because the medical examiner never said that he could have only lived a maximum of nine minutes we just saw that so let me let me go back to her page real quick now i haven't yet went through her videos she does get some things right as far as medical stuff. But as far as the case, mm -mm, she has to tell lies. Waddell was asleep in his cruiser when the call came in. There's your lie. You gotta lie. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep digging through this one right here. Cause she claims to be harassed and bullied and everything else. No, you're not being harassed and bullied. You're being checked. Big difference. Quit telling people, you know, that people don't have jobs and they shouldn't put their PayPal because your your friend doesn't have a job and uses their PayPal too. So don't be a hypocrite. You know, like I said, I I have a job and I have my medical stuff up to post, but you can't see facts, so I don't expect you to believe it. Anyways, y'all have a nice day and don't lie to people. For Christ's sake. <laughs>